Hello everyone and welcome to a quick and dirty BTC analysis for the new week. On the BTC chart, what can we see? The aggressive daily higher low sitting at around 22,625 and then obviously here at around 20,667. Second step for us then is going down to the four hour time frame quite sloppy here i would say we want to identify our target boxes again if we take this leg we find our target box to sit at around 21,667. we mark it out with the four hour target box colors go down here it becomes a lot harder to identify where do we actually want to start our uh, box <clears throat> as you can see it really depends on where you define the lag to have started what you can often do is take the projection from where the move became more aggressive and that obviously is this part here but one way or another, what you definitely have is identified areas of price that you would be interested in. As the daily trend has not been broken yet, we want to mainly focus on longs according to our strategy. Therefore, let's mark out confluence areas. What do we have here? Confluence with a four hour fair value gap. Then do we have more fair value gaps that line up nicely with areas that we would be interested in? Yes, we have one here and we have another one. If we really got that far down, that hasn't been completely closed yet here. What about liquidity? We can assume that quite a bit of liquidity sits underneath these lows. Some of it, however, has been taken out already. So nothing too clear on the four hour time frame. And then let's zoom out again to the daily and see what we find there. And the daily then with respect to confluences indeed becomes more interesting because here we really have liquidity resting underneath this low most likely and we have a huge uh, daily fair value gap lining up with it we have more liquidity sitting underneath 20,382 and again a fair value gap on the daily another fair value gap on the daily yes you can mark them out however we, you don't want to um, have a chart that is full with everything but what becomes clear is that you just have a lot of confluence here so price will at some point i would assume come down here again and fill in some of this liquidity uh, some of this uh, price range fill in some of these fair value gaps and give you a good entry for a long. Should we still go a bit higher? Where could we uh, see possible targets? Well, there is liquidity resting above 23,835. And then obviously the liquidity that we in another analysis already talked about last week at around 25,200. I would assume that one of these areas gets run before we have the bigger pullback but assumptions don't mean anything. What you need is an area you want to focus on. Once price comes there, you want to take action. Finally, zoom out to the weekly, see if you've missed anything of importance. Obviously, we can denote this liquidity on the weekly. And we see that all our fair value gap areas actually line up with a massive fair value gap on the weekly time frame. Now, what does that mean for you with respect to trading all of this? Well, go back to the four hour time frame. There it becomes a lot clearer.
we've said it before early on we are basically in a parabolic move what you want is a break of market structure on the daily for uh, trading it down again or just the pullback for taking it higher and entering on the four hour time frame so basically at least set um, an alert here at around 22,300 another one here at around 21,670 um, and then see if price gets there once price gets there you have your entry model and you simply take the trade well, that was my clear cut straight to the point BDC analysis for today. If you found any value in it, please like and subscribe.